This is Taste of Messiah. Today's taste is Panim El Panim with Yeshua, or face to face with Yeshua. The Lord would speak to Moses face to face as one speaks to a friend. Exodus 33 11. This face to face is Panim El Panim. Something unusual is that just a few verses later we read in Exodus 33:21. Yahweh said, Here is a place by me, and you shall stand on the rock. So it shall be, while my glory passes by, that I will put you in the cleft of the rock, and will cover you with my hand while I pass by. Then I will take away my hand, and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. So it seems as though Moses saw the Lord's face, and then he didn't see the Lord's face. But one thing we know for sure is that Joshua did see the Lord's face, as we see in Joshua chapter 5 and verse 13. And it came to pass, when Joshua was by the Jericho, that he lifted his eyes and looked. And behold, a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or against us? Are for our adversaries. And it's interesting because Joshua, his proper name in Hebrew would be Yeshua. And of course, we know that Jesus' name properly would be in Hebrew Yeshua. So Yeshua basically is facing Yeshua in these verses. In verse 14, he says, So he said, No, but as commander of the army of the Lord, I have now come. So Joshua, or Yeshua, fell on his face to the earth and worshipped, and said to him, What does my Lord say to his servant? Then the commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua, Take your sandal off your foot, for the place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did so. The commander of the Lord's army is the Lord, and we know this because he received the worship Joshua gave him. Any other place in the Bible where an angel appears, the person is told to get up when they attempt to worship the angel. In other words, the angel tells them, I can't receive your worship. But this time, the worship is received. Therefore, Joshua saw the Lord, and therefore it was Panim El Panim, a face-to-face -face meeting between Joshua and the Lord Yeshua. The people and disciples of Yeshua's day saw him face-to-face. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 1, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled, concerning the word of life. The life was manifested, and we have seen, and bear witness, and declare to you that eternal life was with the Father, and was manifest to us. That which we have seen and heard we declare to you, that you may also have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Yeshua HaMashiach. We will all of us, every creature that God has ever created, we will all of us see Yeshua in the day of the Lord. 1 Corinthians thirteen twelve, For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I am fully known. Also, even in the Tanakh proclaims the same idea in Isaiah forty five twenty three. I have sworn by myself, the word has gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return to me void, that to me every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess with an oath. This is also expressed in the Brit Hadashah in Philippians chapter 2, verse 9. Therefore God has also highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Yeshua every, ne excuse me, every knee should bow of those in heaven and those on earth and those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yeshua HaMashiach is Lord to the glory of the Father. The question is, 
Are you prepared to bow before the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Yeshua the Messiah?